Today we will talk about our randomized clinical trial that have been conducted to evaluate the effect of microstuper perforation in tooth movement. Our objective is to assess the effect of microstuper perforation on the rate of tooth movement and on the anchorage loss, canine tipping, canine rotation, root resorption, periodontal condition and the pain level. In our study, we follow the concert guidelines and we have a larger sample size. Here we show the concert of flow chart that show every step of our trial from the beginning until the end. We end up with the 32 patients at analysis stage. Our study is a split mouth design with a mob side and the control side. We put a mini screw as a maximum anchorage and we extract the first premolar as a part of the treatment. After passing six months with a complete healing of extraction socket and reaching a 90 multiply 25 stainless steel, we perform three mop on the buccal bone distal to the canine in a mop side. The power arm then is put on the canine bracket and then we retract the canine by the close coil spring near to the center of the resistance with a 150 gram of force. To measure the amount of tooth movement, we use the 3D digital model. At this example, we have a baseline and a third month 3D digital model. We superimpose them on the regia area in staple points. And after that, we do the best fit color matchings with the flow, the best match, and the red the worst. A buckle view of the upper lift canine showing the measurement tools on the Ceramel Mine software. The canines in a baseline model, yellow color, and in a third month, model purple color. Anchorage loss, canine tipping, and canine rotation has been measured using a 3D digital model. Gingival index and black index have been used to measure periodontal condition. Preapical x ray has been used to measure a root resorption. Visual analog scale has been used to measure a pain level. The results. There was no statistically significant difference in the rate of tooth movement between MOP and control side at all time points. Anchorage loss, canine tipping, canine rotation as a secondary outcome and as a co-founder show the no statistically significant difference between MOP and control sides. If the end result between these factors are the same, that means these co-founders will not affect our results. Moreover, gingival index, black index, and root resorption show a no statistically significant difference between mob and control side. Pain level was greatest during the first day and then by the way to be the same as a control side.